This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, and let me tell you, I'm home early. Some Christmas kiff. <laughs> Can't even make English. Getting so excited again. That's my uh, that's my biggest problem. Christmas gifts are wrapped. Okay, that's one thing. Like I said, I'm home early, and I got tomorrow off work. You tell me how it gets any better the first weekend of December, all right? Long weekend to kick it off. Christmas gifts are wrapped, done, dusted, taken care of. And yeah, I got to leave early before holidays kick in. Perfect. Doesn't get better than that. So, you know what doesn't else, what else doesn't get better than that? Well, how about some more news on Oilers prospects doing good things either here in North America or overseas and maybe an Oilers player thrown in there too if we want to talk about a guy in Sweden for a second. But yeah, it's looking good. Things continue to progress. It's a big week for the NHL and NHLPA. Whether anything happens or not, that remains to be seen. I guess um, an 11th hour deal tomorrow. I mean, I'll be home. I'll be home. So if we have an NHL season announced tomorrow, I'll be the first one on it for you, I promise, all right? The hockey guy might me beat me to it, but you can promise he'll have three minutes or so. I'll have ten minutes of me just rambling about how excited I am for hockey season. And, I mean, you might need ten minutes to process that hockey's coming back if, indeed, it does get announced tomorrow. But we continue our off-season overseas and here in North America, Prospect Watch. And we'll begin with the lead... I guess you could call it, in Carter Savoy last night, scoring a weird goal. A deflection goal, gets credit for his first career goal with the Denver University hockey team. However, seconds later, like mere seconds later, everybody's tweeting, oh my goodness, Carter Savoy scored, what's next? The Oilers prospects just lighten it up, and then while well, it was taken away from him, Bo Hansen got credit with the goal, and then all of a sudden this morning, the Oilers are tweeting out things about, ooh, look at Carter Savoy scoring his first career NCAA hockey goal. Well, okay, so if the Oilers are that bold to put it out, I assume they are correct, and I assume that means we shall indeed put it out and enjoy the fact that Carter Savoy, the Oilers, fourth round, or was it fifth round? Fourth round draft pick, because Brezhkin and uh, Tulio were fifth round picks. Well, you know what? He ends up coming on in and getting the job done. Let me let me double check that. I already feel like I've got a mistake on Carter Savoy, and that feels bad. So let's just take a second at his hockey DB, which is now going to show nothing from the past year. There we go. I, I wanted to say there was something special about that round four selection. Number 100 overall. That's what's number what's special, and that's what I should remember about that. Hold on a second here. I hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> That's me. Look at that. Look at that face. All right. Anyway, that's Carter Savoy, right? Scores his first goal, first game. Kind of lights it up the same way Dylan Holloway lit it up. That's what we like to see. That's how we want to see our prospects doing it early and often. And that's how we want the Oilers to do it. That's how I like them to play games early and often in all game scoring goals. But sometimes we fall apart in the third period. That just tends to happen. But I'll, re I'll remain uh, rather tight-lipped on that. But you see this one. All right, move up on the Oilers' timeline just a little bit more. And you happen to have a highlight from Vosby IK of the Hockey Els Venscan. Well, okay, what's important about that? Duh, Tyson, we all know there's like a bajillion Oilers players playing in that league. Yes, yes, there are. What's important about Vosby? Well, we just loaned Philip Kemp there. What's also important about Vosby? Well, how about... Raphael Lavoie has been tearing up that team and actually should be leading the team in points now after scoring a goal and an assist today. Well, okay, that's Raphael Lavoie, but you mentioned Philip Kemp. What did Phil Kemp, Philip Kemp, whatever you want to call him, Phil Kemp. I, I like calling him Philip Kemp, but I guess everybody commonly calls him Phil Kemp. Phil Kemp, he took a wrist shot from the point. Hold on, let me just watch. Actually, it's a slap shot. It's a wire of a slap shot. And then, yeah, Raphael Lavoie just goes in there, digs out a goal, and look at this. Look at that greasy goal, just fighting off a defender, back skating, coming over to the corner, chuckling a puck between a player and scoring a goal short side. You can watch that replay on the Edmonton Oilers 
Evansville.com or probably on the Edmonton Oilers Twitter page, wherever you find your Oilers stuff. You can probably see that Raphael Lavoie goal. You can probably find it a million places on Twitter and or on Instagram, pardon me. Instagram and the Oilers is a whole nother game. I can't personally even say I want to be a part of. Similar to the game on Facebook, Twitter's a little bit because Twitter you can have a lot of fun and like I did last night. But that's Raphael Lavoie and, of course, Phil Camp. That's the update there. But we move on further ahead on the Oilers' timeline here. And it's just update after update after update. And hold on. Hold on. We have to we have to rewatch this replay because there's danger. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Want to make sure I don't uh, got desktop audio involved. And here we go. I want to see who's on the ice here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guess who's on the ice getting burned for Mr. Joachim Nygaard's goal with Farshastad today. Well, it's none other than Philip Broberg. Broberg was the one that got burnt on the ice. Number 11 in Farshastad green, burning number 5 in Sheleftia gold. Joachim Nygaard for a goal against Philip Broberg. You see they worked it to the point. Puck came into the slot, got deflected around. Broberg went chasing and that left a uh, man, I don't know, like the the guy in front of the net kind of didn't cover anything either, but Broberg got chasing, guy in front of the net didn't even think to look at, look at our guy, Joachim Nygaard, and it almost looks like the Oilers scoring on the Oilers, quite honestly. If I were to sum up this replay I'm watching from Seymour Sports in uh, Sweden right now on the Oilers timeline, that's exactly what it looks like. The Edmonton Oilers scoring a goal against the Edmonton Oilers. <laughs> Welcome to Sweden 2020. <laughs> ah, right? Craziness is as craziness does, but that is... To take you through the updates on the Oilers today, Joachim Nygaard scored a good goal for Fargestad, and that looks like all the updates you need to know, unless I'm missing something across the Edmonton Oilers spectrum. You see, of course, Lavoie, Nygaard's goal, and Lavoie's goal assisted by Philip Kemp. And, yeah, so Carter Savoy, again, gets updated to that goal. And we will talk about Philip Broberg in mere moments here, a little bit later on tonight. I'll probably record the video in the next five minutes, but I'll upload it probably around 6, 7 o'clock. Let this video ride over it a little bit so as everybody can get to it. And then we'll talk about Philip Broberg and what he needs to do on the Sweden WJC roster. As Alberta has announced that it is still planned to go ahead, despite all the craziness that's happening here in our province. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tyson. This is Stall on the TV. I'm home early. It's a good day. I don't want to talk about the World Juniors because I don't want to talk about things being crushed, but that's a thing that could be crushed. But we'll get to that in a whole other video. I'm up on out of here.